Hello and welcome to Coach's Corner. <laughs> Here at Hockey Night in Canada, we've only got a few minutes left before they drop the puck in the second period. So let's get down. So to let's get right down to business. All right, if these others are going to want to bring home this cup, there's a few things they're going to have to do. Number one is goaltending, all right? Now we had it all through the playoffs with Rollison. I don't know if I trust this Jesse Marketing kid to pull it off the rest of the way, all right? I don't know what the hell he is, but he ain't Canadian. Sweet <laughs> kid or something like that. I don't know. Well, you got a good point there, Don. Of course yeah. it's a good point. That's why I'm the coach on Coach's Corner. <laughs> well, what I meant to say was that without the... You without cut the me off again, and I swear to God, I am going to open up a hurt locker and stuff you inside of Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making me lose my place and stuff. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, the other. Okay. Another thing. People are always picking on him about the power play, right? That power play is not what's going to win this game for them, all right? It's toughness, nothing else. These guys really got to start smashing into people. Like a good cupcake, George LaRock. He's always willing to serve up a good old Canadian pain burger with a side of where my deep go. <laughs> Well, Sue LaRock's an enforcer, but he really hasn't done much scoring in this series. You before. cut me off again, and I will hit you like a fart in a hot shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, Always making me lose my place. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, LaRock's role is not to score goals. It's not to do anything but get out there and pound guy's head into the ice. Good, tough Canadian kid. 6'3", 255. Need I say more? Well, yeah, my point is that, 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 you know, we've got him, but we've also got Pronger, and he's Pronger! There's another good, tough Canadian kid, Dryden, Ontario. 6'6", 220, he's a beauty! <laughs> Big, but he, he also has the speed, and he, he's got a lot of. I swear on everything holy. You keep it up, I'm gonna speed up and shut your mouth for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, show some class. You need to be taught a lesson, and I know just the guy to do it. Tommy, get in here! Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ty Domi, Toronto Maple Leaf. <laughs> Keep an eye on this guts while I try to get my foot across, <laughs> would ya? What's your thing, mates? Hey, Ty, how's it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ty. Now, like I was saying, it's toughness that wins hockey games and not a damn thing else. And if you don't believe me, you can just ask one of my hundreds and hundreds of Don Cherry's Rock'em Sock'em Hockey videos. There's lots of them out of there. <laughs> And these little beauties are chock full of good tough kids, mostly Canadian, banning each other's heads into the ice in a way that's sure to bring on the cup. Well, that's about all the time we have, unfortunately. That's about all the time I got with you, all right. Cutting me off. Jesus, I ought to swat you like I do a fly in my CD hotel room. Ah, I meant that other one that I sneak off there with Domi. Uh, uh, dummy, uh, uh, dumb, dumb bra, dumb hooker. I was banging some. Uh, dummy, teach this guy some class. Sure thing, sweetheart. Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it's done. All right, folks. That's about all the time we got for Coach's Corner. Remember, kids, keep your head up and your stick on the ice. Toast and taste.